Uh, we're shooting at this incredible location. We started the idea probably back when we visited the Ice Hotel in Quebec. The big thing was it was three weeks of making snow. So snow making was a big part of the whole game to start. And then it was a scratch our heads and wondering how we're gonna actually put this into a maze. And we I think have a 4,200 feet of wall continuous wall was what we had to make. And I asked, how are we going to do this maze? Like, are we CGI-ing it? You know, just imagining that that's what we'd do, that we'd have like four walls up and the rest would be CGI'd and we'd have to pretend of like this glorious castle. And he's like, oh no, no. This was just put in the Guinness Book of World Records as the largest maze in the, snow maze in the world. But then when we got here and saw how tall the walls are, how many people are visiting a day, that there's snow sculptures in there, that there's bonfires there, there's picnic tables. Like, there's a dog that walks around the maze and a little cat that walks around with him. Like, seeing the maze was, was so much better than what I had hoped for. Yeah, I think it's a good Ooh, trip's good. But I just gotta breathe. Yeah. We're like, it's warming up. We're like, it's cool. And I'm like, Ugh. And I have um, four layers on my jacket. You do? Two layers here. Yeah. And no pants on my jacket. How many socks do you have? At its heart, and, and why it means so much to me, and why I connected them to this material, actually has to do with the, the, the sense of play. They ride snowmobiles together, and they get in actual snowball fights. And you know, it's like, there's this awesome, friendly banter throughout the movie that was the thing that I gravitated towards. And that type of playfulness and the connection they have is interwoven throughout. And it just seemed to give it so much heart. And it's quite a universal theme. We've always had those type of friends. And uh, sometimes it gets a little complicated. Nate already knows that he loves being in the small city. He knows what's good for him. He knows what he likes and everything. Except he doesn't know that uh, Julia might like him still. It's not this huge transformation that happens. It's really those things that you can relate to and the things that give you warm fuzzies. That's the part of this story that I really love is the actual relationships. The magic in it is that it brings not only Julia and Nate together, but also the whole community together and brings people to Wellston. One could say that the maze is pretty magical.